This morning I'm on the uh, back porch getting ready to make some beef ribs and uh, decided that I was going to do a couple of different ways. I got these ribs from uh, Crowd Cow and so thankful to be able to get uh, meat online. I uh, hadn't checked in the store for a while as you guys know. been out of the loop for a little bit because of some uh, sickness that I had, but uh, I am back. I'm going to make a video. Uh, doctor says I need to try to push myself a little bit. Breathing's still not perfect, but um, do some of what I love to do and what I want to do simply because I need to test and see if I am getting closer to my goals as far as my breathing and if this medicine's working and everything else. So I'm going to make some beef ribs today. So I've got them, one has a binder of mustard, the other one has a binder of Texas peat uh, hot sauce. Uh, both are seasoned the same with a 16 mesh black pepper as well as a um, kosher salt. And so we're going to go with that and see what happens. Hope you guys have a great time watching this video. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the bell for the notifications. Would love to uh, catch up with you guys and see how things are going. And uh, let me know what you think about this stuff. It's a very simple recipe. Binder, salt, pepper, smoking time. So using post oak, um, maybe a little bit of hickory with that. But i uh, got my uh, oak uh, charcoal cooking right now. Some cowboy charcoal. So shout out to them. Uh, love that charcoal. The uh, oak and hickory cowboy charcoal. We'll see what happens. But uh, at any rate, what we're doing today. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. I was really excited to see my big box come in from Crowd Cow and checking them out on Instagram and a couple of other places and got this cool letter from Joe basically welcoming me to Crowd Cow. I did set up something where I could get some meats every six weeks and uh, got two of these plate ribs that were right around uh, four pounds each. Really good natural uh, meat. You can see that, how red it is. Got a lot of marbling in it. Very, very tasty. Really enjoyed this. So if you look at that side cut there, you do see quite a bit of marbling. And here I've put this uh, Texas Pete binder on one of the slabs of ribs. And I'm just going to drop some of my rub on there, which is the 16 mesh black pepper and kosher salt, which is uh, pretty much Texas style, you know, if you want to get down to it, it's a Central Texas type of thing. Uh, got all that seasoned up as we're going along and, you know, working on everything. I really, really like uh, this. Very simple, yet very, very effective. Um, then again, see, we've got the Heinz mustard uh, rubbed ribs and then the Texas peat also. And so, great stuff. Um, got my fire going. Uh, got all those splits kind of stacked up. And everything is running, you know, pretty smooth in my old country pits, Angus Smoker. And so, love all this setup. And uh, all right, so get everything put in. So, ribs in. These are my Texas Peaks. Texas Pete, so put these right back here. And I've got my mustard. Mustard binder. My water pan. And then we've got these beef ribs way in the back back here. So the one in the back is a Texas Pete. And the one in the front is the uh, mustard binder. So 16 mesh uh, black pepper with some kosher salt. See how these go. Got a little separation in between the two, but just barely fits inside uh, the width of this grill smoker. So kind of see what's going to happen. Got a little spritz going on here, apple cider vinegar spritz. As you can see, the ones in the front were the mustard uh, covered ribs. 
one's in the back with a Texas peat. And it seems like the mustard ones didn't get as dark, and I don't know if that has to do with the way that they were placed in the smoker or just because of the binder that was used on that. And here they are on the board. Really like how these came out. Still tons of juice there. Really, really moist ribs and, you know, rested those for about a good 30, 45 minutes. Love the bark uh, that we had on these. And uh, obviously I'm going to be using Crowd Cow again to pick up some more uh, meat and to really, really enjoy uh, what they have to offer. I think you should try to get some too if you can. Uh, you know, good meat sometimes is hard to come by, but uh, these folks deliver. So check it out. We've got some great uh, smoke rings going there. The bark, like I said, uh, came out amazing and very simple to do if you follow what you need to, uh, which is basically the, uh, you know, good long time with a good uh, clean fire as much as possible. And, uh, you know, I seasoned these uh, the night before and, uh, you know, got that salt and that pepper all in there. And I really love the results of how these crowd cow uh, ribs came out. And if you'll look real closely there, cut off a little piece so juicy and that uh, fat content there really made these ribs amazing so another small town texas barbecue production i'm glad to be back uh, thank you so much to all you guys for your thoughts and your prayers and all of your love on uh, all my social media platforms if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and like and subscribe